Well, this is part of today's adventure. That is an airboat. And that is Katie in her shirt, which kind of gives you a clue of what we're doing today. This we're airboat riding. Riding. We have an hour long tour on this airboat. We're gonna see some gators. I can't wait. That's well, good morning. Good morning. We are on the, I thought it was Lettuce Lake, but they say it's on the Peace River. We are- Peace River, yeah. Peace River. We're gonna be doing some uh, airboat airboating riding. today. This is the first time for me. Yep. I, I went when I was baby, but I don't remember. So technically, first time. First time. So uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. I don't want an alligator jumping on my boat or uh, the boat sinking. <laughs> Hopefully they have some safety precautions. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is uh, the Seminole, Seminole. Seminole Wind yeah. Touring, yeah. Airboat Touring. Yeah, Captain so, Dave. With Captain Dave. Yeah. And apparently he's very knowledgeable. So yeah. this is going to be exciting. I yeah. can't wait. We got uh, a couple family members with us. And then two other and people. And two other people that we don't know. That's all right. And it sounds like they just arrived. So we're going to get our stuff together and, uh, well, welcome aboard. That's all I can say. And oh, and welcome, welcome to all your new subscribers. Um, we can't wait to show you our adventures. So stay tuned. Yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. So. Actually, is it okay with you if we shift around? Yeah, yeah I don't care. Let him sit up front with Katie Yeah, and no Danny. problem, guys. I don't mind a bit. Sit where you want. Yeah, whoever had to sign it, guys, can sign it. Have so, you been on an airboat before? It's supposed to be very loud. So, you know, growing up in here, I never really seen them, guys. To be honest with you, never. Although there's one beside us, right? He just popped his nose up. Yeah. See his nose? So that was just oh. his nose. So maybe he'll come on over and investigate. Now there's more than there's ever been. And I know that's contradicting what you see and hear on the media. But if it becomes, if it makes someone conservation-minded, okay, I'm all for it. You follow what I'm saying? But yeah. there's more than ever. But there's also a decline in the food source for them but not in the river here. So here, that's a, that's a massive one right there to the left. Any, anybody got, y'all some, yeah, everybody should have polarized on, or most of you. I've got a pair of Smiths on it. Anyway, I'm not a, I'm a Smith fanatic. <laughs> They're Italian glasses and I can see big time in this water, even though it's dark. Just keep, there right in front of us. There's another one, they'll come up. Usually they come up right at the boat and they're very curious. Let me see if I can get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, see, oh, right there. see yeah. him pop his head up, guys. I want one right here beside the boat. It's bubbles. Let's see. 
and I, I get it a lot and they're they're so I just love them they're so docile but now when you do spook them they will throw water higher than this boat and they're oh, so wow. fast they're amazingly fast. I stepped on one There's when one. we swam with them. Oh, Did that right? Yeah. Well, where you're swimming at them, they're not going to be so so much because they're yeah. used to everybody. Mm -hmm. You were in Crystal River. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. I put my foot down and I was right on top of one. It freaked me out. I was out. like, oh no. It was like a slick Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's they're, they're wild. They're very neat animals. That's for sure. And the alligators, everybody asks me, you know, I, I have 600 alligators. My life has revolved around alligators and airboats, and that's my, been my whole career. It's been very exciting. And, uh, you know, I've never seen there be a problem between a manatee and an alligator. As a matter of fact, I've seen them be buddies. There's one, yeah, there's uh, several of them coming up, their heads. So we're, why don't y'all come over here, guys, where we can see y'all. But anyway, so, you know, it's, it's, it's neat. Now, I have seen the alligators eat a dead one. Oh, you know, oh, alligators wow. eat dead, mm -hmm. dead yeah. the flesh. So, well, this is all y'all being shy and getting away from us. Well, guys, we're going to keep riding. All right. So, we'll continue on, see what else we can. We got a long way to go and a lot of beautiful river. <laughs>
staying on, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> like, okay, we're so, going to So, guys, this is the Peace River. It's 104 miles, and it starts above us at Lake Hancock Dam near Bartow area. And, well, Winter Haven, Lakeland. And then it goes all the way to Charlotte Harbor, where I picked you guys up at the boat ramp. We were only 19 miles from the harbor. I fished this for a living for many, 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 many years. So a lot of times I would put in right there and go all the way to Bull Bay, all the way to Boca Grande, all the way down in Pine Island areas with our big fishing boats. And it, it, it's a phenomenal river. Where we're at right now, you can catch a largemouth bass or a bull shark or a snook or a tarpon. I seen yesterday, I thought the tarpon were gone, but I seen a 100 plus pounder roll yesterday. So the bridge we just came under was completely underwater during Hurricane Ian. Mm. So I don't know, you guys are here, so you're familiar with it. We worked, I've been working my boats and my family's been working these boats since I was little with companies like we did Florida Power and Light. Uh, I went to Fort Myers with this boat. I, I didn't want to do it. I said, this one was right here and, and it was so big that we did three boats. My son, if you go to our Facebook videos, you'll see that. But mm -hmm. These boats are built for search and rescue. This boat will go to Walmart loaded if we need it to. <laughs> if we need to climb on a car, we've got the horsepower. Nice. I'm here to tell you I have over 600 alligators. They're all nuisance, very dangerous alligators. So if an alligator uh, becomes a problem in this area, 99% of the time I end up with it. And you can tell that by scars. <laughs> I got blood poisoning in oh, 2016. Right. almost died from one of them. Oh, the hospital went in the septic shop. But we did corporations. Excuse mm -hmm. me. We did corporations. We entertained them. And if anybody's corporate America knows what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. it's heck. And we never lost a client. That's big mm -hmm. for what we did. And so if an alligator went under over there, we swam under and we got him. We did things they don't do normally, you know, which is not a good idea. But anyway, I love that I've enjoyed it. And uh, 2021, this happened. And my wife still likes me after 35 years. Captain Paul tried to ruin it. He said, she just don't have enough insurance on you. <laughs> but she asked me to quit doing it. So that's good. That means she wanted to keep me around anyway. <laughs> but... Uh, so I just, now I'm just getting fatter and fatter and driving the airboat. So I know an alligator might eat me now. All right, guys, let's go. Let's right. see what we can find. These are very hard to see, but these are one-year-old alligators. Uh -huh. Do you see them laid in there? St yep, you pointed right at them. Where, where? Do you see them stacked in there, guys? A green leaf down on the water. Uh-huh. That one by itself. Oh, I see them now. The... Okay. See them, guys? You're welcome to stand up. Just be careful. Okay, and you can stand up and take great pictures of them. Um, so we're not going to push them too hard, and I don't want to scare them either. Where's Mama Nim? Oh, my Where's God, Mama? right here. Mama Nim's right here. Trust me. And and Daddy is not a part of the deal. There's no family structure <laughs> in alligators, guys, because their okay. males are cannibals. So, excuse me, I'm just trying to keep us from getting over them. Uh, some facts. Gor the gospel according to Captain Dave. Not a tour guide school. Okay. Um, and you can walk to Dad's house in five, ten minutes right here. This is where I grew up. So these are normally born August timeline. Always. Remember that. So it's always an August timeline. There's 38 of them here or so. Uh, the, the, the birds will eat them. Uh, what you're seeing, I, I've been a part of my whole life. The alligator population here in the early 60s was almost extinct. Do a little research. Completely. Me growing up in a family that hunted alligators illegally, now we're legal. Through redneck hunting and poor stewardship, we almost made a dinosaur go extinct. So they made people responsible for their actions in a big way, and they also went across the state in a panic and collected these eggs. But now through great funded programs that we should all be a part of, they realized 85 degrees or so gives you females on the lower side. 90 degrees or so gives you males. I've always done it at 85, get mostly females. Done 90, get mostly males when you hatch them, okay? Males are for the renewable resource God created of food and leather. Females, survival. And this is exactly how it happened. So, so across the state, they went and they, let's say, I don't have the exact number, but hypothetically, I, I'm going to give this to you. Okay, so this is how it happened. Let's say they did 50,000 eggs. That's almost extinction, guys. 
okay, and they took 50,000 eggs back to the hothouse, set the temperature to 85 degrees, and got almost all females. They had a problem. These guys are only born at four inches long. So you're creating a food. You're just feeding whatever you throw back. So they realized through uh, uh, the perfect environment, you can grow them to four feet in one year instead of that size in one year. So they grew them in that perfect environment. Lock me in the golden crowd. I'm fat now. Everybody got it. She got it quick. So, so that's what happened, guys. So we do the perfect environment, the perfect temperatures. We were able to get them to the right size, took them back and threw them back in. Every time you threw one back in, that was potentially 20 to 50 offspring. Okay, we're back to a million and a half doing that. Wow. So right now we're probably doing over 800,000 eggs. Jeez. Just the eggs. Wow. So, so anyway, uh, we could we just can sustain that. So, uh, if you got any questions, guys, I'd love to answer them. Yeah, what are these little things here? Those are the water bugs, and they're just like a buzzard in the water. Wow. We just passed those black vultures. Everybody yeah. see them? Mm -hmm. That's called buzzard beach. Ever buzzard. since I was okay. a kid, really? for a reason. It's not because there's a bunch of dead stuff there. There's nothing dead in that whole area. You ought to, in the early, early mornings, there's nothing but, look at these guys. See above us now, not, not above those. Those are anhingas above them. See the anhingas? That's just a group of water birds, but those are the vultures right here. So the anhingas are just doing the swamp. But these vultures come in here, and the reason they're here, one reason and reason only, and they live here, and they leave here, they go to the interstate, the landfills in the area. They have their babies there. And then babies will be on the ground five months, on the ground, without getting eaten. I don't care what anybody says. They, you don't hear of any kind of decline in the vulture population. That's where I say mm -hmm. there is a God. Well, they keep our landfills clean, the roadways clean, and they don't have a decline, guys. So that was black vultures. They're very, very aggressive. We've had problems with them on the ranch. They'll kill brand new newborn livestock. Oh, wow. oh, now, they're the only ones. Now, the turkey vultures, if you're from up north, you guys are from Michigan, you have turkey vultures. Mm -hmm. They They come down here about September but then they also go back but we have these these never leave and these are from here all the way down into South America so that's why you're seeing that there's babies everywhere up in them bushes so facts yeah. not Google stuff <laughs> well we ready to keep riding oh yeah all right that's everybody it. enjoying yeah. wonderful <laughs> oh there he is right, there. Have right in front of us oh, mm -hmm. oh my him? god yeah. <laughs> he just right here I almost be like the reserve. So if you had live insurance, you'd be like, Matt, get in that rope chain now. I'm what they refer to as white trash. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, mercy. Where is that? Why don't they come up? Here? Now you pay. Mm -hmm. that, that's oh, a baby. Oh, that's a baby. Oh, See, he ain't that yeah. big guy. There he is. Look at him. Yeah. Look at the body on it. So there you go. Oh, he's tiny. They listen, too. Show your face. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a bigger one over there. I see, see his body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, does everybody see his body oh, coming? Mm -hmm. He's coming. Now, he's going over a very shallow area to get out into the river. See his back come up? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. See his back come up? Nice. Oh. Oh. That's what I on. Look at there. <laughs> yeah. Alligator. See him right there, guys? Oh, yeah. Good eye. I got a tour guide. <laughs>
Oh yeah. Right. We were fun. finished. Oh, Beautiful. there you are. You can walk. Can't see. It's so bright. What'd you think? It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your first time? I can't no, remember. I went when I was little. When you were little? Yeah. Yeah. So it was uh, Seminole River. Se Seminole Wind. Seminole Wind. Yeah. Just like the John Anderson song. Yeah. Seminole Wind. Yeah. And uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Saw a few gators. They, they were kind of hiding in the manatee. They I didn't. Were. I was not expecting the manatee. Yeah. That was uh, a treat. But uh, and they don't mess with each other. We learn they don't. They don't mess with each other. Yeah. No. They only eat the alligators. Will eat the dead ones. That's what we learned. So Maybe because manatees are vegetarian. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but anyway, it was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, on to our next. Adventure. On to the next adventure. But uh, if you ever get a chance and you're down in, I guess it's near Seminole, Northport. Yeah. North, yeah. Northport. Uh, little, uh, Arcadia, Florida. Arcadia. Mm -hmm. um, great reviews. Great Captain reviews. Dave Captain was Dave. Awesome. He was fantastic. Yeah. Learned a lot. Yeah. Apparently, he worked somebody with the, the jackass. with Jackass. Yeah. So that was um, cool. Neat finding that out too. But uh, and he lost his, the thumb. From and he the lost gator. the thumb. I don't know if you saw that. The thumb bit half of his thumb. Uh, gator bit half of his thumb off. So it was better. It was like the ambiance. Yeah. Because I guess he grew up. Gators don't scare him. Yeah, and I was a little bit nervous. I'll be yeah. honest. But I wasn't knowing what to expect, but uh, it was pretty easy. He was a professional. And he was good. And even when he started taking those first corners, we were like, oh, no. I was like, oh, but then you got used to it and it was a lot of fun. So yeah. uh, I hope you enjoyed us. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot more adventures coming. But until next time, bye. bye.